It's hard enough to prepare for the loss of a loved one, but imagine not being able to be by their side at the end. That's what local actress Rachel Wang experienced with her father, whom she lost last year due to cancer. One, 27, is now living in Sydney with Bo Edwin Go and the couple previously cited work-life balance as one of the reasons they made the move. In a tearful video uploaded to Instagram on Friday, August 25th, one opened up about missing out on her father's final moments due to the hospital being understaffed. The keen actress started the video by sharing how she met this nurse, who used to work in Singapore and coincidentally, worked in the same hospital where her father died. According to this nurse, the workload is better in Australia because a nurse has a limit of 6 patients compared to Singapore where they can handle up to 12 patients. One said, the stories she shared with me about the differences between the work life in Singapore and the work life in Australia blew my mind. And in Australia, they have a turnover rate where staff are meant to rest for a certain amount of hours before they're allowed to be scheduled for the next shift. Apparently in Singapore, such a thing doesn't really exist. The revelation was very triggering for one because her dad died in the hospital all alone. She said that she stood with him for over 12 hours so he won't have to be alone but that was taken away from me. On the day her dad died, she recounted, he was transferred from the emergency ward to the general ward because the doctor didn't consider him an emergent case anymore as he wasn't going to make it through the day. However, in order to visit the general ward, visitors had to clear a COVID test. So while we were trying to get the COVID test and do the kit and everything, my dad passed. He was all alone. No one even informed us. We had to go up to the ward and discover his cold, dead body alone in the ward with no staff around him, she said as her voice broke. One asked the doctor why no one called to inform that her dad passed and claimed that the doctor replied. Oh sorry, because we were understaffed. She added, I felt like it was important to share because I know that this is not the only industry in Singapore that suffers this. Overworking is not an achievement. Having no work-life balance is not an achievement. So I just felt like it was important to share because I feel like something about that has to change in Singapore.